Great. Why does letters to the Mighty Six have to come to my office place? I hate it when I have to go put their letters in the letterbox. Waste of my time. Oh, hey boss, are the letters for us? Yeah, they are. These letters keeps on arriving at my workplace, not to your house for some reason, so that is why I have to keep on coming over here every time the delivery person delivers a letter addressed to you, but arrive to my workplace instead. Alright, thank you boss. How are you, other than the delivery situation? All good Mandy, and I can see that you had quite a lazy day today. It is 2pm, and you are still wearing your PJs. Well Calvin, now that I am a mother, I don't go out as much, seeing as Samir is working as a chef on cooking fever. So whenever I go out, I have to take my baby with me. Or if I want to go out on my own, I have to ask one of the mighty six to babysit. But I get so tired now that I have a child of my own. So lucky that I don't have a child of my own, or a woman to love. I didn't know you are single. Always been single Mandy. I can't stand women, they are moody bitches often. I am however considering to be gay, because there are nothing wrong with that. How do I get one Mandy? Tell me. Try some dating apps. There are many online. But however, they are all scams, well apart from one app called Datiify. You can choose the best man to love on their Calvin, and it's scam free. Good luck finding yourself a man. Thanks a lot Mandy, see you later. Bye Calvin. Sorry about that Tommy Wami, the delivery person sent our letters to the wrong place. Silly post person. Jesus I wish this baby would stop giving me death stares whenever I try to make him laugh. Oh Tommy, someone at the door. Who could it be? Let's look and see. Oh look Tommy, it's Uncle Jay at the door. Uncle? Not again Mandy. I am not your brother. I am your best friend, your group mate. Not a bloody uncle. Whoopsie. Sorry Jay. Why have you got to act like a presenter on a kid's television channel also? I am 18 years old and into my last two months of college. Okay Jay, I'll stop. How was your day? And where is Leslie and Sam? Sam and Leslie are having their monthly chats with the tutors. It happens every four weeks, Mandy. Oh yes, I remember now. And tonight is Annie's and Caleb's first date with their lovers. I bet they are looking forward to them. Yes, they will love it. Tonight's the night, Caleb, the dates. I know, the double dates. Do you remember, back in kindergarten, we used to pretend to be on a date in the play area, together. Mm. Caleb, this is such a good date. Thank you so much for taking me to this fancy restaurant. <laughs> I want to go home. Mummy. Daddy. Admit it, it was the first day of kindergarten, and I was already emotional about being away from home, and meeting you for the first time. Alright. I forgot that you cried almost every single day of kindergarten. And the first week of elementary school. Back then I didn't complain, but I reckon if you did that in today's world, you would be bullied, even worse than that stupid school play disaster. And also, when my mother died, I cried for two weeks near the end of fifth grade, I even had to take time off school. I wondered where you had been during that one month of not being at school. You never told me. It was six years ago, Annie. And besides, you never asked about me. Oh, yeah. I remember. Listen up, Curious Four. I like to make some new rules for you all. Oh, here we go again. Oh my god. Do not hit Josh. Can you please stop? Right, that's it. I am out. Goodbye Olivia, you had your chance, and you blew it. Oh my god, seriously, a padlock. Well that's just flipping great. Where's the key Olivia? In my pocket, but you can't have it. You are staying here forever. But, it's still our one week trial. Calvin said if we didn't like it here, we could go. Well the one week trial didn't happen. Once you signed up, you stay here forever. No exceptions. So you are telling me, 
We all live together with this woman until she dies? Correct. Sadly. And don't you even think about calling anyone and ratting me out. I will take all your phones. Now, do the chores. Hello Annie and Caleb. Now, you got two hours until the dates. So Annie, I will be giving you a makeover. And Caleb, you will be with Samir getting ready. What are we waiting for? Let's get you two ready. Can't wait to see how you turn out Caleb. Same to you Annie. And remember Sam, strive to improve. Sure sure, bye. That was a long 10 minutes. Sorry Leslie, it's not my fault. The tutor keeps on talking about how sleeping can improve my performance. Anyway, let's go home for dinner. Sure thing, I am starving. Ah, the sound of quiet. Great, Calvin Walters. Hey Olivia, I am here to check in, because the one week trial is over. Well, the curious four loves it here, and they all wanted to stay here forever. How amazing is that? That's cool. It might be because of your weirdness, but in a good way. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Can I come in to talk to them? Oh, sorry, no. They are out, celebrating. Sadly I can't go because I got too much work to do. I don't know where they are. They might be on a train, going far far away to somewhere I don't know myself. Anyway, thanks Kelvin, bye. Thanks. Goodbye. That was strange. Anyway, I better go back home to have my din dins. I can't believe Olivia just said that we wanted to live here permanently. That moody bitch, she's evil. Guys, I got a bad feeling about this. What if she abuses us often? Like, physically? You know, slapping us even more? I am only 12 years old, she cannot do that. She could be arrested. We tried to escape Sebastian, but she, of course, trapped us in here like we are endangered animals. We need help. Call the police. Listen piss heads, you can't call the police, I taken all of your phones. So nice try calling them. I got my close eye on you three. Anyway, it's time to make dinner. Everyone get to work making dinner, and I will be in the living room, relaxing and watching Plotagon crime drama programs. And what are you doing, standing around like the Statue of Liberty? Work, now. Yes Olivia, of course, we will start to make dinner. You go enjoy the crime drama, and we will be in here, slaving over a hot stove, making the fabulous dinner for us to enjoy. Okay. Go on then. And that was me being sarcastic. In reality I am grinding my teeth in anger, and dreaming that she can burn in hell. Yeah. We all know that you were being sarcastic. Anyway, let's go make dinner. Oh wow Samir, I look, well, smart, and ready to go on the date. I bet you look smart, I bought that suit especially for you Caleb. You will be looking as fresh as a rose, and to make the first date important to Florence. Thanks buddy, really appreciate it. You are welcome mate. Mandy. I look perfect. Where did you get the dress? Well Annie, I got that dress especially for your date, and I say, it was expensive. But I don't mind. The money doesn't matter at the moment, what matters is about the date. So, James will be impressed, and you are too. Good luck Annie. Thank you very much Mandy. Caleb. You look nice. So do you Annie, James would be impressed. I know he will, and for you, Florence would be impressed. She would be impressed indeed. Okay, 45 more minutes till the date starts. Let's do this Caleb. Yes Annie, let's do it. Finally, home. Yes Leslie, home at last. Oh hey Sam and Leslie, what happened? It was a tutor catch-up day, where we have to have a conversation to our college tutors about the coursework. Anyway you two, you look good. Aw, thanks Leslie. I was going to say, you two look ready to go on a date with your lovers. Go smash it, you terrific pair. 
Thanks Sam. See you later. Come on Calvin, why can't I get a promotion? I can list about a hundred reasons why you don't get the promotion. You look like that type of guy that goes erm, what the sigma, and you go around the office saying stuff like Skibby D Toilet, Phantom Tax, Ohio, Riz, etc. These words are very outdated and you are an embarrassment to this society just by saying these words. Come on bro, just let me have the promotion. If you do, I will stop mewing every 5 minutes. Please Sigma Walters. My name is not Sigma Walters, it is Calvin Walters, ya bitch. I suggest you think carefully about what you call me. That's it. Instead of getting the promotion, you are fired. Go home diff, derp. Rizless Fortnite dickhead. Hold on, what's a diff? What's a derp? What's a dickhead? They all mean a stupid, foolish person. Like you. Now get out, I don't want to see your face on this planet ever again. Washington wa 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 skippy d toilet wa 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 phantom tax wa 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 ohio wa 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 riz. Listen, we all feel like we all got locked up because this room is like a prison cell, like literally. I don't understand why Olivia has a prison cell in her house, and sleeping bags. Wow, so poor. Admit it guys, there is no way out of this house. She padlocked the front door, she closed all of the windows, there is no mobile phone with us to call the police, we're doomed. Let's just accept our defeat. No, never. We will find a way. Alright, I am being so generous here. I am giving back your mobile phones. Yes! Thank you, Olivia. But I have blocked 911 on the phone so you don't have the police to call. Ha 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 ha. God damn it! I knew it. Is this the place? Yes, Florence. This is the restaurant we booked the tables for. The Three Wise Men. The name came from the Nativity. I love how many restaurants in this city is named after historical people and events. It is just so classy. It is, isn't it? Oh. My. God. Look at them too. They look, so pretty. Oh, James, I love your suit. Makes you look handsome and sexy. And look at you girl, you look modern and unique. I love it. Hello beautiful Florence. Lovely dress. Ah. Thanks. Lovely suit. Well, I feel like a gentleman now that I am wearing the suit. I love it. Alright, the time is now half past five, which is the time we booked the tables for. So what are we waiting for? Let's go in. Oh James, this restaurant looks lush. Thanks Annie, and did you know, this restaurant has top quality food too? Oh wow, can't wait to eat. Oh my gosh, hi Annie. Oh, Tilly, didn't know you started to work here. I started last week Annie, and I am loving the job. And you must be James. Yes I am, and are you Annie's sister by any chance? Yes, I'm Annie's older sister, Tilly. Caleb. You're here too, also with your girlfriend. What a lovely surprise. Is this a double date? Yeah, it is a double date. Annie's on a date with James, and I'm on a date with Florence. We met our lovers at the same time as each other. Oh wow, when did you two start dating? Me and Florence, also Annie and James, had been dating for a week now, and this is our first date. Amazing. Let me show you to your tables. We will put you two set of pairs close to each other. Sure thing. Okay then. Take us to our tables. So then. What would you like to eat for your main course? Alright. So can I have a tasty cheesy burger, with chips and peas, and a lemonade please? Oh my gosh, you rhymed your words. Absolutely funny. I'll have the same, cheesy pleasy. <laughs> okay what about you two Caleb and Florence? Can I have a chicken steak, with chips and beans, and a diet coke please? I'll have the same, please. Same meal same drink. Oh wow, it's great that you two pairs of couples have ordered the same thing as each other. Love must really be connecting. Food will be ready in around 15 minutes. 
So Annie, is that your favorite thing to eat when you are in a restaurant? Yes it is James, I just love the burger so much. So delicious. Same. That is what I order when I am in a restaurant. It hits different. Oh wow, we both order the same thing. That's a positive. I agree with James and Annie, we both order the same things, and that is our favorite meals to eat in a restaurant. Yeah, the love is connecting. Just like what Tilly said. I am so glad that you are now dating me. Is it too early for a kiss? What? A kiss? Oh, sorry, too early. I get it. No no no, it's not too early, I want a kiss. I just acted surprised because, well, this is the first kiss I have ever done. It is an emotional time at the moment. So come on, let's kiss. Alright Florence. Yes Caleb. You got it. I can tell that those two are going to be together forever and ever, and we will be like them too. We will be together forever and ever till death. So Annie, should we kiss? Why not? Let's do it baby. Oh wow, that's a snap. We both kissed each other, and those two have kissed each other too, at the same time. This is so romantic, isn't it Caleb? Yes it is Florence. Thank you for taking me on this lovely date. Oh, you're welcome Caleb. After finishing their main course, and their dessert too, they all leave the restaurant at 7 p.m. That was a lovely date James, thank you for taking me here. The food was glorious, especially that fudgy chocolatey cake with chocolate custard. Oh Annie, you are most welcome. Okay Florence and James, now you are going to meet our group, the Mighty Six, for the first time ever. Excited? Oh yes, I am very excited Caleb. Of course I am excited Caleb, this is the first time meeting the Mighty Six. Okay we will get a lift to the Mighty Six house, thanks to Jared. He will be here in a minute. His car looks a bit like a taxi. Hold on, that might be it. Hello. I am Jared. I am the boyfriend of Leslie, who is in the Mighty Six. Did four people want a lift to the Mighty Six house? Yeah, sure. Go ahead Jared. Night night sweetie pies. It's them. Oh my, this is such a nice home you have Annie and Caleb. Exactly. Looks comfy. Oh hello, so nice to finally get to meet you two for the first time. Welcome to the Mighty Six house. Thank you. Your house looks comfortable. It's great to finally meet the Mighty Six. I know you do. And look, they are here now. Okay Mighty Six, this is James and Florence. James is Annie's boyfriend, and Florence is Caleb's girlfriend. So introduce yourselves to them. Hello you two, I am Jay Williams. I am the genius to the group, and I come up with new inventions too. I am good with technology too, so whenever you two have IT issues, let me know and they will help you out, anytime. What's up you two, I am Samuel Wright. I identify as a shy person. So I am quite sensitive to some topics, but you can of course still have conversations with me. But no sad news. Makes me too sad. Hello, I am Leslie Powers. I was a bit of a teacher's pet when I was back in school and I knew everything. So, therefore, if you need help to learn new stuff, you know the girl to ask. A special hello, I am Samira Adams. You might have recognized that name before, well I am on Cooking Fever. Yes, I am the host of Cooking Fever. I cook up some amazing meals. So you want to come over for dinner anytime, feel free. Just let us know, and I will make your dinner special. I know I introduced myself to you outside the restaurant, but I am Jarrett Blandon. I work at the same office as Sam, and work is lovely. And finally, here's me. Mandy Holman. I am the main leader to this group of people. My job is to make these people's experience here more enjoyable. Annie and Caleb had been settling well in this gang, and they also improved in school too. So, that's us introduced. Nice to meet you Mighty Six. Exactly. Nice to meet you all. So, 
Were we sleeping? All right, James, you will be sleeping in my room. And I think Florence should sleep in Caleb's room. That sounds like a perfect plan. Come on Florence, let's go to my bedroom. Okay and we will just sit in bed, watching television. Is that an elevator? Yes, it is. Oh cool. Let's go in the elevator. My legs are aching from all that walking. Sure. Let's go. Okay, press 2. It will take us to our bedroom level. We're off. So baby, I think we should get an early night. It's been a lovely date, but now I am tired. Sure. Let's do it. Right after you get changed in pajamas. Alright, so there is a bathroom around the corner. Use that. I'll get dressed in here. Okay then, your decision. Oh hi Caleb. The dates went perfectly well, didn't it? Yes Annie, they did. And I think that Florence is the one for me. And I think that James is the one for me. Well, it's pretty obvious that there will be more dates coming soon. Yeah Caleb. Can't wait for more dates with James. And I can't wait for more dates with Florence.